This is a coffee mug. This is a donut. In one branch of math, they are the same thing. Topology doesn't care about size, angles, or distance. It only cares about one thing, shape at its core, a hole, a twist, a loop. That's what matters. For 2,000 years, math lived in straight lines and perfect shapes, but not everyone followed the rules. Some looked deeper and saw a hidden world of impossible forms. Topology reshaped space, shook physics, and solved one of math's greatest mysteries. It was strange, it was brilliant, it was real. This is its story. Euclid built geometry like a fortress, one axiom, one proof at a time. His book Elements became the foundation of math across centuries. In his world, a straight line was always straight, and space obeyed strict rules. No one questioned it, because no one could imagine anything else. Some shapes didn't fit Euclid's rules. They twisted, bent, or looped through themselves with no clear edge. Mathematicians saw them, but dismissed them as tricks or toys. So for centuries, the strange shapes were left out of the story. Maps showed a world of straight borders and flat horizons. But sailors noticed ships disappearing over curves. The Earth bent space, but maps refused to bend with it. Mathematics couldn't explain what people saw with their eyes. Gauss measured a massive triangle on real terrain and the angles didn't add up. According to geometry, they should. But the land curved beneath the math, bending the truth. Gauss didn't argue, he stayed quiet and kept the secret. We already have a full video on Carl Gauss. You'll find it linked in the card above and in the description below. Could you walk through the town of Königsberg and cross every bridge once? The problem sounded simple, but no one could do it. Euler ignored distance and shape and looked only at how land was connected. He didn't just solve the puzzle, he invented a new kind of thinking. We already have a full video on Leonhard Euler. You'll find it linked in the card above and in the description below. Mathematicians tried to color any map using just four colors. It always worked, but no one could prove why. The question haunted math for over a century because the answer wasn't about colors, it was about the shape underneath. Mathematicians noticed the rules were slipping. Lines bent where they shouldn't. Surfaces tore and twisted without breaking. The perfect world of Euclid was starting to fall apart. In geometry, holes had always been ignored. But holes had meaning. They were features, not flaws. They defined the shape more than size or angles ever could. And a strange new math began to take form, topology. Euler wasn't trying to rewrite math. He just wanted to solve a bridge puzzle. But by turning cities into points and paths, he ignored distance entirely. And without realizing it, he stepped into a new kind of space. August Mobius created a shape with only one side. It didn't flip. It didn't end. It broke every idea of inside or outside. To geometry, it made no sense, but it was real. Georg Cantor asked how big infinity really was and found there were infinities bigger than others. Many mathematicians hated it. They called him dangerous. But Cantor had uncovered something deep, not all space could be counted. We have a full video on Georg Cantor too. You'll find it linked in the card above and in the description below. Felix Klein imagined a bottle that folded into itself. It had no edge, no inside, no outside. 
It was a shape that couldn't exist in our world, but was perfect in math. This was topology, the study of what stays the same when everything bends. In the late 1800s, topology finally got its name. It meant the study of place, not measurement. A circle and a square, topologically the same. But a circle and a donut, never. Poincaré asked, what makes a sphere a sphere? He wasn't talking about size, but what kind of loops it held. If every loop can shrink to a point, it's a sphere. If one can't, it isn't. And that changes everything. We have a full video on Henri Poincaré too. You'll find it linked in the card above and in the description below. Many mathematicians hated topology. They said it was sloppy, too vague, too weird. You can't measure it, they argued, so it isn't real. But the world was already proving them wrong. Topology showed that shape isn't about edges or angles. It's about how space connects, bends, and flows. A cup can become a donut, but not a pretzel. The rules had changed, and the new world had no straight lines. Einstein's theory of general relativity changed everything. He said gravity wasn't a force. It was the bending of space and time. Planets moved the way they did because space itself was warped. And suddenly topology wasn't just math. It was the fabric of the cosmos. Is the universe infinite or does it wrap around itself? Could you fly in one direction and end up where you started? Topology gave scientists the tools to ask those questions. And space stopped being just big. It became strange. Wormholes, time loops, and parallel dimensions all came from topology. If space could twist, so could time. A shortcut through space might also be a shortcut through time. And suddenly, science fiction sounded less fictional. In 1904, Poincaré asked a question no one could answer. What is the true shape of a three-dimensional sphere if you remove all the stretching and bending? It became one of the greatest unsolved problems in mathematics. And for almost 100 years, it stayed that way. By the late 20th century, computers became part of the search. Topology was too complex to solve on paper alone. Mathematicians used algorithms to model spaces beyond human imagination. But even the best machines couldn't break the Poincaré conjecture. In 2003, a quiet Russian mathematician named Grigory Perelman published a proof online. No fanfare, no lectures, just logic. He claimed to have solved Poincaré's century-old riddle. And the mathematics world froze. Perelman's proof was real, and it worked. He'd solved one of the deepest questions in topology. He was offered medals, prizes, even a million dollars. He refused them all and disappeared. Perelman solved one piece of the puzzle. But topology still holds questions we can't begin to answer. What is the true shape of the universe? We still don't know, but now we know how to ask. A coffee cup and a donut are the same in topology. Why? Because they both have one hole. If you can stretch, bend, and twist one into the other without tearing, they're topologically identical. This simple idea turned into one of the most powerful tools in modern science. DNA isn't just a code, it's a tangled rope. To copy itself, it has to unknot and re-knot perfectly. Cells use enzymes that solve topological puzzles billions of times a day. Without them, life would twist itself into chaos. The internet isn't just information, it's a shape. Each connection adds a loop, a twist, a void. Mathematicians use topology to map what's stable, what's fragile, and where data flows. It helps find patterns no algorithm can see. Your brain isn't flat. It's full of folds, loops, and tunnels. 
Topologists are using math to trace how signals move through this warped landscape. They found that memory, emotion, even consciousness may depend on hidden shapes. The mind, it turns out, might just be topology in motion. In big data, raw numbers often hide the truth. But topological data analysis finds the shape underneath the noise. It looks for holes, loops, and structures that mean something real. From cancer detection to climate models, it changes how we see complexity. In physics, particles aren't points anymore, they're vibrations on loops. Some theories say the universe itself is a giant, 11-dimensional donut. These aren't metaphors, they're models being tested. And topology holds the key to unlocking the next laws of reality. Soap bubbles? They solve equations of minimal surface. Ant colonies? They build tunnels using topological efficiency. Even traffic patterns and supply chains show the same hidden loops. We didn't design the world to be topological, it just is. Everything has a shape, and the shape is more than how it looks, it's how it connects. Topology doesn't care about size, color, or position. It only asks, what stays the same when everything else changes? If this story moved you, even a little, please consider liking the video, especially our loyal subscribers who see it first. It really helps the algorithm share it with more people who might need to hear it. And if it didn't resonate with you, we'd still love to hear your thoughts. Honest feedback helps us improve and make better content. If you'd like to see more stories like this, you know where to find us. You can also reach out on social media. Links are on the screen and in the description. We'd love to connect. Thanks for being here. Stay thoughtful. Stay curious.